Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Today we're taking a look at what's in the bag of John Rom. Now at the start of 2021, John Rom switched from TaylorMade to Callaway. And obviously that's proving to be pretty fruitful. Having just won his first major looks also like a great signing for Callaway. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what's in the bag of John Rom, winning what's in the bag of John Rom at the uh, US Open 2021 and what clubs he's using this season. So let's dive straight in, guys. So John Rom, if you didn't know, by the way, guys, in John Rom's first ever round with his new clubs, he actually shot 59, which is pretty unbelievable. Unfortunately, it wasn't in a competition. Um, also note, John Rom slight, makes slight tweaks to the top of his bag, depending on the course setup and conditions that we out on tour, which isn't surprising. A lot of the players do that as well. Uh, depending on ball flight, wind, all those sorts of things, spin rate, etc. So driver, John Rahm is using the Callaway Epic Speed Triple Diamond 10.5 degrees with the Aldila Tour Green 75TX shaft. Now this shaft is quite old, he's been using it for absolutely ages guys. Um, it is quite an iconic shaft, you've probably seen it in John's driver, not surprising. 10.5 uh, degrees, Quite a lot of loft for a tour player, but uh, not too much, but good, good amount of loft. 75 gram shaft is, uh, well, for a driver, it's, it's on the heavier side. Um, most would go 60 to 70 grams in the driver. Some would even drop down to 50, possibly. Then in the three rid, he goes Callaway Epic Speed Prototype, 15 degrees with, again, the Aldila Tour Green 75 TX shaft. And in the five wood, unsurprisingly, goes uh, Callaway Epic Speed Prototype 18 degrees with Graphite Design Tour AD DI Black uh, 8X stiff shaft. Interesting that he's uh, swapped out the shaft in the 5 wood but has uh, the same shaft it looks like in the 3 wood and in the driver. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried the Epic Speed or Epic Speed Triple Diamond drivers. I would love to hear what you guys think of them. Comment your thoughts down below or any thoughts you have on this video comment down below i reply to all of your comments below and make sure to give this video a like and uh subscribe to the channel guys so next we're going to move into the irons john ram uses the callaway x forged ut 22 degrees so that's the uh, driving iron utility iron in 22 degrees so that would be kind of like a three iron i believe and then he uses the Callaway Apex TCB irons, tour cavity backs, uh, from four to pitching wedge, all with Project X rifle 6.5 shafts. So he has the Project X rifle 6.5 shafts in the uh, utility iron and his four to pitching wedge setup. Now, I haven't actually hit these irons yet, but I think they could possibly look the uh, like the best, well, the best looking irons uh, out on the market at the moment. They look absolutely incredible. TCB stands for Tor Cavity Back, which basically means they're pr probably almost as close to a blade as you could get without it being a blade. So it's still a cavity back, but it's like a thinner top line, slightly thinner and smaller head profile but still has some of the technology of a cavity back. I actually did do a video on my channel a while ago when these irons came out earlier this year, uh, talking you guys through some of the technology. They feature some really interesting technology in these irons, and I hope I do get to hit them sometime this year. Uh, wedges, then Callaway Jaws Forged Japan Edition. He has these in 52 degrees, 8 degrees of bounce on that one, 56 degrees of loft and 12 degrees of bounce, and 60 degrees and 10 degrees of bounce. All with, again, the Project X rifle 6.5 shafts. So it's quite interesting. Some people like to uh, change shafts from their wedges to their irons, but John has the same uh, wedges and irons. Uh, shafts in both of them, which some people also like to do is kind of a little bit of preference. Also, let me know guys what uh, gapping you use in your wedges. I personally go 50, 54, 58. John here goes 52, 56, 60. Um, nothing really special there. A lot of tour players now 
aren't using really 58 degrees that much. They tend to go like 60 or maybe even 62 or 64, or, or they might change it week to week. But that is mostly because most of the greens they're playing on are like firmer or faster and they need to be able to generate as much spin as possible from around the greens or get the ball up as quickly as possible like if they're short-sided over a bunker. Next in the putter, John Ram uses the Odyssey White Hot OG Rossi S. Quite a cool looking putter here. Um, does look... You know, it's kind of that like half moon shaped. I actually used to use a similar Odyssey quite a while ago and I did really like it. I kind of uh, regret selling it to be honest and I hardly got anything for it. So, um, but let me know, do you guys use an Odyssey putter, Scotty Cameron? What do you think of this head shape? Uh, he's obviously putting really well, um, winning the US Open. He holds some incredible putts on 17 and 18 to win. Otherwise, you know, he, uh, he could have even lost if he hadn't have held those two really good putts. So next, the ball, Callaway Chrome Soft X. And on this um, golf ball, now, by the way, guys, the golf ball is probably the biggest, uh, biggest factor, really, in terms of changing equipment nowadays. It's, um, you know, that's quite a big consideration. And, a, you know, I wouldn't, Callaway do make good golf balls, but they're not like used on tour that much. You know, you see a lot more Titleist, a lot more tailor-made golf balls, um, but you do see some people using Callaway as well, like Phil Mickelson, uh, people like that. And uh, on uh, John Arm's golf ball, he has the number 10 because his birthday is on the 10th of November. And apparently he says that the uh, number 10 is the best player on the football team as well. And he has also his little JR initials scribble on there. A lot of players uh, will put like initials or like a smiley face or something kind of unique to them that uh, other than just like a number or line or something like that just so they can really clearly identify their golf ball. Uh, John Ram has also changed his um, clothing and footwear uh, for 2021. He had been using obviously Adidas but now he wears Travis Matthew apparel and uh, Kuwaiter shoes. Uh, both of these companies are owned by Callaway, so kind of not surprising that he's using the, these. They do look quite cool, actually. Quite like the look of them. Uh, quite like a cool, casual um, look to them. So, yeah, let me know, guys. What do you think of John Rahm's setup? I think it looks pretty cool. The wedges in particular, the Japanese edition of those wedges look sick. Uh, I like the new clothing as well, looks really, really nice. I like, uh, to be fair, I like most of it. The irons look great. I haven't hit the driver or anything. So if you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Comment down below. And, you know, let me know if you think it was a good decision or a bad decision uh, for John Rahm to leave TaylorMade. I mean, at the moment, it's looking like a great decision because he's won twice this year and playing some of the best golf of his career. And he's now world number one, by the way. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below. Make sure to give this video a like, guys. I'm also putting today a full video on John Rahm's golf swing with down the line, front on, iron driver, wedges, bunker play, everything in slow motion, 4K. So make sure you check that video out on my channel. And obviously subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Give this video a like, comment your thoughts down below, reply to all of your comments. I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this. And as always, grip it and rip it.